Hello and welcome to Mastermind with me, Clive Myrie. In the spotlight tonight are Hayley Goddard, a boarding school housemistress. Her specialist subject is the site of the iconic Egyptian pyramids, the Giza necropolis. Tara Jackson Reechung, a student whose subject is one of the leading figures of the Protestant Reformation, Martin Luther. Sam Anderson, a writer and editor. He'll be answering questions on the films of the American director Paul Thomas Anderson. And Richard Aubrey, a chaplain. His specialist subject is the 1980s satirical sitcoms Yes Minister and Yes Prime Minister. <laughs> Their fearless quizzes are four contenders willing to brave the cauldron of mastermind with the hope of taking the next step to the semi-finals. But it's not just each other they're battling tonight. The nerves, the ticking clock and the black chair, they all loom. The rules remain the same. Two minutes of questions on their chosen specialist subject, followed by two and a half minutes of general knowledge. So, let's have our first contender, please. And your name? Hayley Goddard. And your occupation? Boarding school housemistress. And your chosen specialist subject? The Giza Necropolis. Yeah, the burial complex that contains the only remaining one of the seven wonders of the ancient world. In two minutes, let's go. What type of sedimentary rock was quarried from the Giza Plateau and used in the construction of the pyramids and many of the tombs in the Giza Necropolis? Limestone. Yes, what name, an Arabic word for bench, is given to the large rectangular tombs to the east and west of the Great Pyramid of Khufu? Mastaba. Yes. What name, represented by a hieroglyph of a cattle tether, was given to the groups of workers who built the pyramids of Khufu, Kafre and Menkaure? Shamu. No, Zar. Inside the Great Pyramid, the ascending passage opens into an area that's more than 28 feet high and continues upwards for over 150 feet. What's this space called? The Grand Gallery. Yes. What was the name of the man thought to have been in charge of the construction of the Great Pyramid, who was the subject of a huge seated statue discovered in his giant mastaba? Hemiunu. Yes. The 23-foot-high and 656-foot-long wall that separates the workers' town from the main site is known as Hate el Gorab in Arabic. And by what name in English? The Wall of the Crow. Yes. Indicated by a tomb seal discovered there, Mastaba V is the oldest known tomb at Giza and dates to the reign of which First Dynasty ruler? Uh, Jet. Yes. Which statue that may have depicted the face of the pharaoh Khafre was known during the New Kingdom period as Horem Arket or Horus in the horizon. The Great Sphinx. Yes, in a statue on display in the Boston Museum of Fine Arts, which goddess is depicted seated while the pharaoh Menkaure and the goddess Hare stand either side of her? Hathor. Yes, which queen's tomb contains an ambiguous inscription that can be interpreted as either mother of two kings or mother of the king and the ruler in her own right? Kent Kawas. Yes, an inscription in the tomb of Pateti includes a curse that promises that anyone doing something bad to his tomb will be eaten by a crocodile, a hippopotamus, and which other animal? Um, uh, lion. Yes, in 1954, a boat pit next to the Great Pyramid was found to contain a disassembled boat constructed primarily from which type of wood? Cedar. Yes. What name is given to the large limestone block I've started so I'll finish at the end of the Grand Gallery in the Great Pyramid? Um, sorry. I don't know. Pass. It's the Great Step. Ah. And Haley, you had no other passes, so at the end of that round, you've scored 11 points. Thank you very much. And our next contender, please. And your name? Tara Jackson Rachel. Your occupation? Student. And your specialist subject? Martin Luther. One of the central figures of the 16th century Protestant Reformation. In two minutes, let's go. Luther's publication of 1517, Disputation on the Power and Efficacy of Indulgences, which is said to have begun the Reformation, is also known as the how many theses? 95. Yes, Luther entered which monastic order in 1505 after abandoning his law studies at the University of Erfurt? Augustinian. Yes. Which Old Testament prophet statement that the just shall live by faith alone was the cornerstone of Luther's teaching? Habakkuk. Yes. What position did Luther hold at the University of Wittenberg, which he inherited from his mentor Staupitz and retained until his death? Professor of theology. Yes. Biblical theology. 
What was the name of the German Dominican friar whose book Positiones, a defense of papal indulgences, was burned by supporters of Luther in 1518? Johannes Tetzel. Yes, what's the title of the refutation of the 95 theses published by Johannes Eck, who debated with Luther and his colleague Andreas Karlstadt at Leipzig? Pass. A papal indulgence issued around 1515 was intended to raise money to fund the Basilica of St. Peter in Rome and also to pay the debts of which church official? Uh, Albrecht of Mainz? Yes. In the preface to Luther's 1521 work, The Judgment of Martin Luther on Monastic Vows, whom does he say had been correct to oppose Luther's own taking of monastic vows? Uh, his father? Yes. A diet in 1530 was attended by Luther's protégé, Philip Melanchthon, on his behalf. What was the collective name of the articles presented by Melanchthon? The... Uh... Augsburg Confession? Yes. Luther is said to have helped his eventual wife, Katharina von Bora, together with other disaffected nuns, to escape from their convent by having them smuggled out in barrels normally used to transport what foodstuff? Fish? Yes, herrings. What name was given to the meeting of the Council of the Catholic Church which initiated the Counter-Reformation and began just two months before Luther's death in 1546? The Council of Trent. It was the Council of Trent. So, Tara, just a single pass, the title of the refutation of the 95 Theses by Johannes Eck, that is obelisks. So, at the end of that round, Tara, you've got ten points. Thank you. And our next contender, please. And your name? Sam Anderson. Occupation? Writer and editor. And your specialist subject? The films of Paul Thomas Anderson. Yes, the highly acclaimed director. In two minutes, let's go. In Boogie Nights, Eddie Adams, played by Mark Wahlberg, becomes an actor in the adult film industry and chooses what stage name? Dirk Diggler. Yes, which actor who would go on to work with Paul Thomas Anderson a number of times has a small role in a casino scene in Anderson's debut film, Hard Eight, credited as Young Craps Player. Philip Seymour Hoffman. Yes, during the rainstorm of frogs in Anderson's 1999 film Magnolia, the camera zooms in on a picture on the wall of Claudia's apartment to reveal what four-word message? But did it happen? Close, it's but it did happen. In Punch Drunk Love, Barry, played by Adam Sandler, tries to exploit a loophole in an Air Miles promotion by stockpiling what brand of chocolate pudding? Healthy choice. Yes, what are the final two words spoken by the oil baron Daniel Plainview after he has attacked the preacher Eli Sunday at the end of There I'm Will Be Blood? I'm finished. Yes, what's the full name of the member of Radiohead who composed the scores for Anderson's films There Will Be Blood, The Master, Inherent Vice and Phantom Threat? Johnny Greenwood. Yes, in Inherent Vice, Doc, played by Wagon Phoenix, receives a handwritten note from the massage parlour employee Jade asking him to meet her in San Pedro. The PS in the note warns him, beware of the what? Golden Fang. Yes, what flavour of jam does Reynolds Woodcock say he does not want when he places his food order at the Victoria Hotel in Phantom Thread? Strawberry. Yes, what's the name of the ship on which the traumatised Navy veteran Freddie Quell stows away and meets the cult leader Lancaster Dodd in The Master. Alethea. Yes, in a nightclub scene in Boogie Nights, Reed Rothschild performs a card trick for his fellow actor Buck Swope. Which card had Buck picked? Jack of Diamonds. No, two of diamonds. When John and Sidney first talk together in the coffee shop in Hard Age, John claims that he knows three types of karate. Jiu-Jitsu, regular karate and which other? Aikido. Yes, during the informal processing scene between Freddy and Dodd in The Master, Freddy answers which one of Dodd's questions by breaking wind loudly? Uh... Are you spontaneous? No, are you unpredictable? Which cinematographer has worked with Anderson on many of his films and won an Oscar for There Will Be Blood in 2008? Robert Elswit. It is Robert Elswit. And Sam, you had no passes, and at the end of that round, you've got 10 points. And our final contender, please. And your name? Richard Aubrey. Your occupation? Chaplain. And your specialist subject? Yes, Minister, and yes, Prime Minister. The sitcom's about a hapless politician and his team of wily civil servants. In two minutes, 
Let's go. Which satirical cartoonist created the title sequences of both Yes Minister and Yes Prime Minister, featuring caricatures of the three main characters? Gav Scarf. Yes, in series one of Yes Minister, Jim Hacker has an idealistic political advisor played by Neil Fitzwilliam, whose surname is often mispronounced by Sir Humphrey. How does Sir Humphrey say it? Weasel. Yes, in Big Brother, Jim and his predecessor, Tom, discussed the stalling techniques used by the civil service. Tom says it's what they call creative what? Inertia. Yes, in the right to know. Sir Humphrey tells Bernard the key words to use to dissuade a minister from making a certain decision. The word controversial means this will lose the government votes. What word means this will lose you the election? Courageous. Yes, which real-life political broadcaster appears as himself, interviewing Jim about the possibility of becoming prime minister in party games. Ludovic Kennedy. Yes. In The Compassionate Society, what's the name of the London hospital that has been open for 15 months with around 500 ancillary staff, but no medical staff and no patients? St Edward's. Yes. What word does Sir Humphrey use to give the go-ahead to the operation to rescue Benji the dog, who has wandered onto the MOD artillery range at Salisbury Plain? Walkie. Yes. What event occurred in the winter of 1967 that leads Sir Humphrey to declare it was a marvellous winter? We lost no end of embarrassing files. Great floods. Yes. In A Victory for Democracy, what's the name of the fictional Commonwealth island in the Arabian Sea that's at risk of being taken over by Marxist rebels until Jim orders an airborne battalion to make a goodwill visit there? St George's. Yes, in The Bishop's Gambit, Jim must choose a cleric to fill a vacant post in which diocese? Barry St Edmunds. Yes, which comedy actor appears as Commander Forrest from Special Branch who advises Jim on personal security when his name is put on a death list? Graham Garden. Yes, when the president of the fictional African state of Buranda makes an official visit, Jim realises that they'd previously attended which university together? The LSC. Yes, in the tangled web, Sir Humphrey is recorded saying indiscreet things about unemployment. But when Jim confronts him, I've started so I'll finish with the recording. He claims that the voice belongs to which entertainer? Mike Yarwood. It is. And Richard, you got them all right. And at the end of that round, you've got 13 points. <laughs> And at the end of the specialist subjects round, let's have a look at the scores. In joint third place with 10 points each, Tara and Sam. In second place with 11 points, it's Haley. And in first place with 13 points, it's Richard. So now the general knowledge round. And if there's a tie at the end, then the number of passes is taken into account and the person with the fewer passes is the winner. And if they're tied on passes as well, it's a tie break. So let's ask Tara to join us again, please. So, Tara, you start with ten points. You've got two and a half minutes on general knowledge. Starting now. In imperial measurements, a foot is equal to how many inches? Twelve. Yes. What's the surname of the Scottish television presenter who began hosting her own daytime talk show entitled Lorraine in 2010? Kelly. Yes. Keflavik Airport is the main international airport in which island country? Pass. What Spanish word is used in English for a papier-mâché party decoration filled with sweets that is hung up and smashed open by hitting it with a stick to release its contents? Piñata. Yes. In 2013, which British actress married the singer and musician James Wrighton from the band Claxons? Uh, pass. The southern tip of the Crimean Peninsula projects into which inland sea? The... Arctic. No, the Black Sea, although his first name is David, the son of Bob and Rita Marley, who once performed with a backing band called the Melody Makers, is known professionally by what name? Uh, pass. In the 1999 children's book The Gruffalo by Julia Donaldson, which animal cunningly manages to convince the title character that he's the scariest creature in the wood? The mouse. Yes, which scientist and inventor devised an early version of a metal detector in an effort to locate a bullet lodged in the back of the US president, James A. Garfield? Newton. No, Alexander Graham Bell, which Greek singer, who had a UK hit single entitled Only Love in 1986, went on to serve as a member of the European Parliament for the New Democracy Party in the 1990s? Pass. The married couple, Jimmy and Alison Porter, and their flatmate, Cliff, are the central characters in what 1956 play by John Osborne? Uh, all my sons. No, look back in anger. In May 2021, which football club won the English Premier League for the third time in four seasons? Germany? No, Manchester City. <laughs> which element has the atomic number five and the chemical symbol B? 
Uh, beryllium? No, boron, the bright colour popularised by the Italian fashion designer Elsa Schiaparelli in the 1930s and 40s is known as shocking what? Pink. Yes, what cereal grain is steamed and fermented to produce the Japanese alcoholic drink sake? Barley? No, rice. One of the main objectives of the unsuccessful Babington plot of 1586 was the release of which imprisoned queen? Uh, pass. Which Formula One circuit has hosted the Italian Grand Prix, the San Marino Grand Prix and the Emilia Romana Grand Prix? Milan? No, Imola. Tara, you had five passes. I know, it's that chair. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I hear you. One of the main objectives of the Babington plot was to free Mary, Queen of Scots. Of course. Nana Muscori is the Greek singer. She entered the European Parliament. Although his first name is David, the son of Bob and Rita Marley is known as Ziggy Marley. British actress who married the singer and musician James Wrighton, Kira Knightley. Right. <laughs> and Keflavik Airport, it's in Iceland. Right. And at the end of that round, Tara, you now have a total of 15 points. Thank you. And next up, it's Sam. So, Sam, you start with 10 points. The score to beat, as it stands, is 15 points. You've got two and a half minutes on general knowledge, starting now. Spag bol is an informal shortening of the name of what pasta dish? Spaghetti bolognese. Yes, which one of the four home nations of the UK extends furthest south? Uh, England. Yes, which singer has fronted the bands The Sex Pistols and Public Image Limited? Johnny Rotten. Yes, John Lydon. A form of devotion to the Virgin Mary in the Roman Catholic Church and a string of 59 beads used to keep count when reciting prayers are both known by what name? The Rosary. Yes. What feline-sounding name is given to a children's game that involves the players creating intricate shapes and patterns by looping string between their fingers? Cat's Cradle. Yes. What Latin phrase, meaning with praise, is often used by educational establishments in the United States to indicate that a student has graduated with distinction. Cum laude. Yes, Mauritania, Burkina Faso and Niger are countries in which continent? Africa. Yes, in the 1992 film The Bodyguard, which actor plays the title character Frank Farmer opposite Whitney Houston? Kevin Costner. Yes, which knighted British scientist was awarded a third share of the 2001 Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine and later served as president of the Royal Society from 2010 to 2015? Pass. Fraxinella, Dittany and the gas plant are common names of the perennial plant Dictamnus albus. What other common name for it refers to the flammable vapours it emits in hot weather? Pass. St. Swithin's Day, which is the subject of a proverb about the weather, falls on the 15th of which month? November. No, July, in a poem by Ben Jonson, which playwright is referred to as the Sweet Swan of Avon? Shakespeare. Yeah. A talit, or talith, is a fringe shawl traditionally worn during prayers by male followers of which religion? Judaism. Yes, the district of Gangnam, which is referred to in the 2012 UK number one single by Psy, is in which Asian capital city? Seoul. Yes, which English county cricket club plays its home matches at Grace Road? Hampshire. No, Leicestershire. What French word used in English refers to a small illustration in a book at the beginning or end of a chapter and is also used to mean a brief description of something? Picto? No, it's a vignette. What denomination of US coin is known informally as a penny? A cent. Yes, a saint or holy person is commonly depicted in art with a circle of light above the head, variously called a glory or a nimbus, but most commonly known by what other name derived from a Greek word for the disk of the sun or moon? A halo. Yes, in the abbreviation MRI, for the name of an imaging technique used in medical examinations, the letter M stands for what word? Magnetic. It is magnetic. And Sam, you had two passes, Fraxinella, Dittany and the gas plant. The other name for it is Burning Bush. And Sir Paul Nurse is the British scientist awarded a third share of the 2001 Nobel Prize. And at the end of that round, Sam, you now have a total of 24 points. Thanks very much. And let's have Haley back, please. So, Haley, you start with 11 points, the score to beat, 24 points, plenty of time. You've got now two and a half minutes on general knowledge. Let's go. 
What common French greeting can be translated literally as good day? Bonjour. Yes, which pair of organs in the human body contain tubular structures called loops of Henley, which filter water and salts from urine? Kidneys. Yes, Dar es Salaam is a coastal city in which African country? Tanzania. Yes, the British author born David Cornwell, who died in 2020 at the age of 89, is best known for his spy thrillers published under what pseudonym? Uh, John Le Carre. Yes, John Le Carre. In what 2012 film does Jamie Foxx play the title character, a freed slave determined to rescue his wife from a brutal plantation owner in Mississippi? 12 Years a Slave? No, Django Unchained, which work by Beethoven was originally called the Bonaparte Symphony, but was renamed because of the composer's disapproval of Napoleon declaring himself Emperor of France. Uh, the Fifth? No, the Eroica Symphony. What system of government, which originated in ancient Athens and allowed all free men a vote, was later described by Abraham Lincoln as of the people, by the people, and for the people? Democracy. Yes. The 1970s and 80s television series Tales of the Unexpected was based on a series of short stories by which author? Pass. The medieval travelogue entitled Il Milione, or The Million, describes the journeys through Asia made in the 13th century by which Venetian explorer? Uh, pass. What creature, native only to Australia and New Guinea, is sometimes known as the spiny anteater? Uh, Komodo dragon. No, the echidna. Which chart-topping American singers' fans call themselves the Katie Cats? Pass. What's the name of the famous toboggan run established in the Swiss resort of Saint Moritz in the 1880s, which is three quarters of a mile long and ends in the village of Celerina? Um, the slalom run. No, the cresta run. What Portuguese word for beautiful was the former name of the island of Taiwan? Uh, Bello? No, Formosa. What stringed musical instrument, one of the official emblems of Ireland, appears on the national side of Irish Euro coins? The harp? Yes. In a phrase taken from Shakespeare's Othello, jealousy is said to be a monster with what colour eyes? Green. Yes. What was the stage name of the comedy actor born William Claude Duckenfield in Philadelphia in 1880, one of whose best-known film roles was opposite Mae West in the 1940 western My Little Chickadee? Clark Gable. No, W.C. Fields. <laughs> and your time is up. And Haley, you had three passes. Uh, Katy Perry. Fans call themselves the Katie Cats. Oh. <laughs> the medieval travelogue entitled Il Milione or The Million. It's the journeys through Asia of Marco Polo. And Roald Dahl wrote the Tales of the Unexpected. It was his short stories that it's oh. based on. And at the end of that round, Haley, you've got 18 points. Thanks very much. <laughs> And finally, it's time for Richard again. So, Richard, you start with 13 points to score to beat. To get through to the semi-finals is Sam's 24 points. And you've got two and a half minutes on general knowledge. Let's go. The symbol for which of the four basic mathematical operations resembles the letter X? Multiplication. Yes, the constellation named Monoceros from the Greek for having one horn is commonly known by the name of what mythical animal? Unicorn. Yes, which British actress was nominated for a Best Actress Oscar for her performance as a former medical student seeking revenge in the 2020 film Promising Young Woman? Emma Stone. No, Kerry Mulligan, Anya Yukon Gold and Maris Pia are varieties of what vegetable? Potato. Yes. After the death of Stalin in 1953, which politician succeeded him as first secretary of the Communist Party and led the Soviet Union until 1964? Malenkov. No, Nikita Khrushchev. The running events in a heptathlon are the 100-metre hurdles, the 200 metres, and a race over what other distance? 800. Yes. In March 2021, which member of the British royal family gave birth to a son named Lucas, who became 22nd in line to the throne? Zara Tindall. Yes. Which spa town between Sheffield and Stoke-on-Trent is surrounded on three sides by the Peak District National Park and is home to an Edwardian opera house? Glyndebourne. No, Buxton. Which Dutch humanist wrote his 1509 work, The Praise of Folly, while staying at the home of his English friend, Thomas More? Erasmus. Yes. Which pop group that included the singer David Cassidy featured in an American television series that ran from 1970 to 1974? 
House Martin. No, the Partridge family. Bean curd, a staple of Asian cookery made from soya beans, is also known by what four-letter name? Tofu? Yes. What name? From an old English word for a corpse is given to a roofed structure at the entrance to a churchyard, which was used to shelter funeral goers and the coffin at a burial. Cadaver? No, lich gate. The musical instrument the cello typically has how many strings? Four. Yes. Which Scottish comedian who was knighted in 2017 is sometimes known as the Big Yin? Billy Connolly. Yes. When he was raised to the British peerage in 1917, the Canadian-born newspaper proprietor and politician Max Aitken took what title? Beaver Brook. Yes. In pre-Civil War America, the network of sympathisers who helped fugitive slaves to escape to the North was known as the Underground War. Railroad. Yes. The Union of Lublin was an agreement signed in 1569 to unite Poland. I've started, so I'll finish. In a single Commonwealth with which neighbouring country? Lithuania. Yeah. Lithuania. <laughs> Richard, you had no passes. And at the end of that round, you now have a total of... 25 points. Thank you. What a corker that was. Let's have a look at the final scores. In fourth place with 15 points, it's Tara. In third place with 18 points, Haley. In second place with 24 points, Sam. And one point ahead on 25 points in first place. It's Richard, which means that he goes through to the semi-finals. Congratulations to him. Now, if you would like to be a contender in the next series, please go to our website, bbc.co.uk slash mastermind. And you can follow us at Mastermind Quiz. Join us again next time for more Masterminds. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. I can't really believe I've just won that episode. It was so tense right at the end. The Union of Lublin was an agreement signed in 1569 to unite Poland and a single Commonwealth with which neighbouring country? Lithuania. When Clive just paused on that last answer after the buzzer had gone. Yeah, Lithuania. You've no idea what the scores are. You can't keep counting your head. Uh, I was hoping I'd just gone over the line. First place, 25 points. It's Richard. I've got to go back to work tomorrow, and I'm hoping some of the students will have watched this uh, and they feel inspired to read up themselves, improve their general knowledge, and, and who knows, maybe even sit in that black chair themselves in a few years' time. <laughs>